Making films in 360 degrees is quite different from regular filmmaking. And in this video, I'll talk about a few different things you can use when you're planning your video. The first is to know the capabilities of the camera. This cheaper camera can't handle the difference in dynamic range between the highlights here and the shadows over here, with the result that the highlights are blown out. And so you might need to try to control that if you can. If you can control the lighting, where are you going to hide the lights? Outdoors, it's going to be difficult. Maybe uh, you could think about a crew uh, shining a light in on these slightly darker areas, but then where does the crew hide? So if you can't hide the lights, you can't use any lights. And indeed, where does the crew live? Over here, do they duck down behind this uh, concrete uh, garden bed? Audio can be an issue. Again, not many cameras are great at doing good audio and good video. And maybe you need to think about where you can hide lapel mics on your subjects or use a 360 degree audio recorder that's very near the position of the camera or just fake it in post. You need to think about blocking. How are people going to move around a shot? Because if you're not really using the 360 degree space, then why are you shooting this in 360 degree at all? It really does make a lot of sense to use the space you've got. One other really important decision is, will the camera be moving? If the camera stays still and you can walk around the camera, and there is a slight wobble in this one, then it's going to be suitable for pretty much all audiences at the cost of a little dynamic movement. But if the camera is actually handheld like this, then the footage might be more dynamic, but is going to make people who view this in goggles quite possibly quite sick. It's definitely worth doing a bit of research, checking out what people have done online, and really planning exactly what it is that you want to produce, and figure out what the best way to do that is, where you can hide the crew, how you're going to set up your environment, and that way you won't be too surprised when it comes to actually recording. One other aspect which is important for a lot of people is, are there any other people in shot? Because if there are any people around, their faces are probably going to get in shot. And in many kinds of productions, that can be a bit of a problem. So consider, if you're in a public place or a private place, can you control it? And do you need to? In the next video, I'll give you a few more shooting tips.